Channel 3 Sports, sponsored by Xfinity Mobile. It is playoff season in the state of Vermont, and on Monday night, four girls hoops teams punched their ticket to championship games this weekend. We started Patrick Jim for the D1 semis. Up first, the 2-3 matchup between Rutland and St. Jay. This game tight throughout. Emma Greenant with the steal. She'll get to the rack for the bucket and the foul. The free throw puts the toppers up six in the third. Rutland battles its way back. Anna Moser, great look inside for Jasmine Evans, high off the glass for a pair. And when Carson Belomo gets here for the and one, the red and black is up two with just over 30 seconds to play. When St. Jay needed a big bucket, Hayden Wilkins delivered. Crossover, step back, cold blooded jumper. This game headed for overtime and tied at 47 with just seconds to play. Wilkins, you know what? Just going to pull up a triple and get every bit of the rim on the way in. Love the little MJ shrug here. Rutland would get a solid look at the tying three at the buzzer, but the iron not as friendly to Belomo. St. J wins an instant classic 50 to 47 in overtime. They bunched their ticket to the championship game on Friday night. But who will they face? Top seeded CBU taking on number four Essex in the nightcap. Right off the opening tip, the Red Hawks would turn it over in the front court. Brea Montague with the steal, and she's going to make and pay the initial effort no good but she gets her own rebound and lays it in it's two nothing Essex and that's important because that's the only time the Hornets led all night check out the basket here Elise Berger to Shelby companion into Elise Ayer for the easy layup to give CBU a 5-2 edge then it's Addie Hunter through contact over to Ayer for another bucket and when Merrill Jacobs connects from the wing for three the Red Hawks were on a 12-0 run the Hornets were going a little run of their own before the break but they never got closer than five CBU coasting to the four 42-29 win. They set up a fourth CBU St. J final in the last seven years. We head down to Barry D2 semifinals. Number one in unbeaten North Country facing off with number four Harwood. Offense tough to come by in the first. Eloise Lilly, little baseline jumper. She'll knock it down, gets things started for the Highlanders. Then later, Maya Oje coming up with the steal. She's going to go coast to coast for the lay-in. Falcons in front 6-2 after one quarter. Second quarter now, North Country would start to pour, pull away. Cora Nato, backdoor to Sabine Bruett. Check out the nice little reverse lay-in over her head off the glass and in later. Nato to Bruick again. Slamming on the brakes, dropping in the floater. The Falcons up nine. North Country goes on to win it 23. Goes on to 23 0 with the 43 24 win. They will book a ticket to Saturday's D2 championship game. D4 semi, the last game of the night. Another unbeaten number one at the odd. West Rutland taking on fourth-ranked Arlington. The Horde off to a great start in this one. Peyton Gway, in addition, side to Ariana Coombs for the bucket. And then Gway, she's going to go ahead and do it herself. Stepping around her defender, lays it on in. West side up 10 after one quarter of play. Arlington trying to keep pace. This is Lily Hosley. The hoop and the harm completes the three-point play, but the Eagles still down 13 at the break. Just too much from West Rutland in this one. Gway, the steal. She'll cap it with the fast break laying way getting it done from long range as well in this one 24 points for the sophomore West Rutland wins it 54 31 they advance to the D4 championship on Saturday